Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Metro Exodus Announced Edition. We are in the Taiga area and we are randomly being stalked by a mutated bear or at least a very big bear. And I really dig this area, I must say. I really like the location in the forest. Alright, and we, in the ending of the previous episode, we encountered some pioneers and pirates, is what they're called. They're not called bandits, but pioneers and pirates. That was a pretty funny exchange, actually, between the two. Who was supposed to get Archem, who was stuck in a net, and then they got killed by the bear popping up. But their dialogue also mentions that one of them um, Man, I actually forgot about the first part of my sentence So I'm not sure whether it makes grammatically sense, grammar wise But anyways, one of them said that they dove down into the river to retrieve Archem's backpack so his backpack should come up, I think, at one point in this area, region, back again. Alright, nothing here. That's where we came from. That's the railway track that Archem and Alyosha crashed down from. There we have another, hopefully, safe house. I'm not sure. And there on top we have actually the church that I think might be the one that was shown in all the, um, the pre-release trailers. Looks pretty epic. Like a derelict church of some sorts. Right, not much here. Ah, there we have how many? One or two. One random dude. It should be doable. Some blood splatter over there. A little bit too bright, if you ask me. Man, it is a beautiful game. The lighting through the trees falling on the rocks over there it all is pretty darn amazing although I do think it's time for a new postcard collectible now we still have to find three I guess and another graphical glitch over there Really nice detail, also these little twigs in between the planks of wood. Light falling through here. Sun coming up from over there. Just beautiful. Ray tracing really makes such a big difference. There's still one game which unfortunately is not a uh, first person view, which I really personally like the best for immersion but it is a game that I think still has some of the best texture and graphical uh, fidelity of any game even though it is I think 10 years old or something or 7 years old that is uh, Assassin's Creed Unity in Paris if that game would have ray traced lighting and reflection and shadows as well that would be uh, yeah, pretty much photorealistic the texture work in that game, I'm still in the middle of a playthrough of it, is also amazing. And it's an amazing game in itself. The story, the protagonist, it's so underrated. It got a lot of flag when it was released because of the uh, performance and uh, glitches. But yeah, to me now, and even back at the time I played it as well a bit, it was not nearly as bad as people made it out to be. And it just looks amazing. It was, I think, just a release during a new uh, console generation. 
So Ubisoft, I think Montreal, I'm not sure which one or Quebec. They really pull out all the plugs to make it photorealistic. And the texture work on Paris and the design of the city, it is incredible. Even without ray tracing. But can you imagine if a game like that would get a ray trace ray trace trace ray tracing update? I would not say no to that. I would throw my money at it. Right, what the hell is this? I hear something swimming. Do we have those shrimps again? It sounds like something is swimming. What the hell is that over there? Check of some sorts. Is that the area that I already checked out earlier with the chemist? If so, then I don't really recognize that shack over there. I'm not sure whether it's the same area. And I also have no idea what I am hearing swimming along because I do hear something swimming along or it's just the sound of the of the water bumping into the rocks but no it really sounds like swimming or at least something moving through the water some organism Nice little light blue box. Nice color tone. Holy shit. And the check out shadows in the distance. Alright, there is some glitching going on here. I have no idea. Maybe that's probably because the uh, ah that's it. Because the sun is under that angle, the more I walk through, the more of the sunlight is probably visible relative to the player over there. And that has an effect on the amount of shadows that are being cast. Then I probably should do this by night. But I don't think I even can get back to... Yeah, I can... It's be hard trying to take out this guy, but um, I don't think I can even get back to a safe house, so... Ah, we do have an auto save, very nice. Let's try to lure him out. Oh, oh, I'm such an idiot. I need those for the bears. Oh my God. I'm so All right, I am reloading that one. If the game crashes, I will continue in the next one. Uh, it could very well be, it's quite unstable. Um, but here we go. Nice. All right, here we go. No more kidding around. All right, the guy is unfaced. How far is he? probably should just throw something in the other direction and then I can take him from the back. Alright, he's totally unfaced.
So you got out, you asshole. It takes real skill to get away from the master of the forest. This means you're dangerous. Damn it. Fucking backpack. I got greedy. I got greedy. Poor guy. Well, shoot me. Or scram. I gotta get ready for the final exam. Tell the teacher. Take it easy, dude. I defended ours. Didn't chicken out. Didn't bully the girls. Teacher, I'm here. I find uh, it a little bit um, unrealistic that the light beam he gives off is really from an ele it looks like an electronic light source. While he actually only has like a small little flame on his um, on his head. But I can understand it is difficult to give that little flame a believable light uh, emit emission. Anywho, we've got our backpack back much sooner than I expected, so that's very nice. whether this is audible on YouTube but there is a dialogue going on I'm trying to listen what they say maybe get a bit closer well so what is he He's still hanging out there if the master didn't get him what? more reason to hurry up then yeah let's pick up some speed I don't like this place. hey oh <laughs> God damn it. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting them to come from over there. Alright, if the game crashes, we'll see you in the next one. Otherwise, see you in a second. Nice. It actually seems a bit more stable than uh, the Caspian area. Um, I do want it to... Maybe I can just as well now explore over here. Is there... Any way over there? No. This is the only path. Hello, mister. So you got out, you asshole. It takes real skill to get away from the master of the forest. This means you're dangerous. Very dangerous. Fucking backpack. I got greedy. I got greedy. Poor dude. Uh, we know how it ends with him. Well, shoot me. Or scram. Alright, I need to find a way to hide for these guys. Where are they? Uh, there they are. Alright, I need to... They saw me over there, so... If I stay here, yeah, then they will also see me, I'm pretty sure. So where the hell can I hide? Let's hide over here. There they come. Alright, I need to get lower. Alright, hopefully those guys... Don't come back. So the master 
is the bear, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> they did try to kill their master with Molotovs in the previous episode. So their reference is not unlimited. Can't I just take out that guy? Why wouldn't I? Oh shit! Totally overlooked that dude. Alright, one more time. That was my bad. That was stupid. I prefer to take them down before they uh, turn around and start roaming the area while I'm exploring over there. So you got out, you asshole. It takes real skill to get away from the master of the forest. True. This means you're dangerous. True. Damn it. Fucking backpack. I got greedy. I got greedy. How did you know there was a backpack on the bottom of the river? Alright, I think it are four guys, right? Over there. Yeah, four. I only saw three when I got back over there. Anyways, let's hide again and let's make use of the moment to check out our backpack. Alright. We can make bolts. Crossbow bolts are not too complex to make, but due to their considerable size, require a lot of materials. For one, you need 10 scrap. God damn it. And I don't even know how many. Ah, I have 48 bolts. I'm totally fine with that. Um, yeah, let's create some medipacks. And what do we have here? Assault stocking grip slightly reduces recoil. Yeah, let's go with this one. Recurve bow. That's the only thing I have. Recurve limbs can give greater amount of energy and speed to the arrow than the straight bow equivalent. Not even sure what the difference is. Anyways, let's continue that later on. Let's first take out those dudes. I think there is one guy, yeah, over there that I overlooked initially. Then there is another guy tending to the body. And then there is one guy in front. And then there is one guy I'm missing. <coughs> Alright, he's not carrying anything. If the ah, if you have weapons, check it out. Check it out. I have my weapons back. It could be handy for the um, bear. When the knockout mechanic decides to work, which is pretty random. Sometimes it just doesn't work at all. I do feel it's a very cool animation. It's quite visceral. Right, so there's a guy here, but where is the fourth guy? Cool, his head actually falls off. Right, where is the other guy? There he is. Oh shit, that was a close call. He looks to the right sometimes. Oh shit. Alright, he's going ahead. Hey, who's that? Ah, where are you, scum? Yes, that's probably because are I you already. Are going to kill me now, Drifter? All intruders are the same. Killing is helpless. Murderers! 
because I already took out his buddies, they actually uh, surrender. Uh, I teacher, find that I'm about to see you, as I will soon be coming for the final exam. It's a super cool mechanic, this surrender mechanic, I find. But anyway, it's that knockout uh, mechanic, I really liked it. Alright, guys, those guys are done for. Man, I really enjoyed this section. It's not too hard, it's, it's still tense. The graphics are beautiful, the lighting, the location, I really like it. Anywho, they're all out of the way. Let's see about the weapons. Um, so we had the assault stuff, let's see how it looks. Or the grip. Yeah, I don't even see that much of a change. Um, like so. So this is the assault stop grip and four ends. Yeah, let's just. I don't see any downside to it, but besides the fact that I do like the weapons to be small and nimble, as small as and nimble as possible. Then we have the iron sights, the reflex sights, the and night vision scope, and the four times magnifier. Four times zoom. We have a small magazine. The simplest magazine containing one bolt on the top of the bow is also the lightest. Standard sight used to assist in aiming. This pre-war sight makes aiming the gun at close and medium range easier without sacrificing much of the field of view. This night vision scope allows for accurate placement of shots even in complete darkness. Four times variable zoom scope. Yeah, so we cannot really do that much uh, adjustments. Red laser made from a cheap laser pointer that was heavily modified to increase power output at the cost of reliability. High visibility laser sight reassembled in a custom made body along with a bunch of modifications. Uh, I don't really see the difference between these two besides the color. But per description it's supposed to be uh, a totally different thing. <coughs> Infrared laser, the uh, infrared laser sight's invisible beam produces a very small dot on the target which is only detectable with a night vision device. Alright, I hardly use night vision. Oh, wrong button. Uh, I also had a weapon. I s uh, saw the revolver, very nice. What do we want? I'm just going to go with the revolver look. Yes, just keep it simple. Uh, also standard sights for sure. And but we will be increasing the capacity. Although I don't really like the look of this cylinder. Uh, of the 8 one but it is the best drum that there is I personally like the look of this one the most it is the most uh, without all the paraphernalia and all the, the, the uh, engravings and decorations it is the most yeah to me similar to a regular old wild western uh, revolver but of course this one is much better. This one, one looks more steampunk to me. Yeah, this is, if it was only the difference between eight and six rounds, I would have gone with this one, but it, that's not the only difference. The difference is also double action mechanism, um, which really increases the rate of fire. So I am, yeah, I could go with this one like an in-between look of this one and that one but let's just go with this one if I'm having it in my head I probably won't you hardly see the uh, cylinder anyways oh there was one thing I wanted to check maybe that green laser sights ah, which I cannot use on this ah here it is let's see what this does i know what the red one does but i hardly ever use the green one 
No, I don't find this fitting for a cool plain revolver. So. Let's remove it. By the way, pretty cool how it's attached. Really with like those hose clamps that you can actually buy in uh, a modern hardware store. Like so. And also check out over here. So we are full on med packs. We have enough arrows and uh, bulls, but I don't have T-car and yeah, throwing knives I don't really use. The perfect stealthy short range weapon, a throwing knife can be cold rolled from spring steel by any skilled metal worker. Decoy an improvised noise decoy attracts attention of humans and beasts alike with the loud rattling noise it produces. Ah, so there are handy um, tip tidbits still here, reading through it. I didn't know you could, uh, I should have known, but uh, I wouldn't have thought that you can also use decoys on animals. That's actually pretty handy to know. Um, I did loot all these guys already, I think. Also that bow. Oh, by the way, let's quickly see how clean the weapons are. Oh, I cannot see that in here. I can, I can only see that by looking at the dirt on the weapon. This one still looks pretty clean, if you ask me. So that's nice. I am getting the revolver out simply because it uses up less screen space, more um, um, room on the screen to enjoy the actual beautiful world instead of looking at the big weapon taking up half of the screen. Here, these little things are very nice, I must say. Some more arrows, and uh, again, no sound effect, so there really is something buggy with the arrow pickup sounds. I think over there, maybe, yeah, the shack that I didn't recognize when I was behind this rock. I was actually looking. I was standing on those uh, beams of there. I looked to the left. And I could, yeah, I was wondering whether that was the area that we yeah, started out in, the forest area, or a new one. I think it's a new one. Although we do seem to be generally circling around back in the area where we started off. Right. And here another dude. Um, but I don't... Ah, is that a dude? No. I do think it's it's a new area because I really don't recognize that long shack that we saw there. All right, I'm usually not a fan of like cheating uh, mechanics in games. What I deem cheating, like like X-ray vision in Far Cry outlines of enemies through walls and floors i really find it totally retarded uh, but in this case uh, i will check out what that motion sensor which is yeah a pretty realistic item actually uh, does so oh but i cannot change that now i need a safe house that is for the bracer i now have the metal detector equipped you can also uh, equip the motion detector, which makes it maybe a bit easier to locate enemies. But probably I won't use it anyways, because I prefer the metal detector. Just because it helps me find all the loot there is. And finding enemies without a motion detector actually is not that hard. And it's also more challenging. And as such, 
gives off more of a sense of accomplishment once you do actually oh my god why wouldn't i be able to get there uh, no i can uh it gives more of sense of accomplishment once you actually do succeed on your own instead of relying on <coughs> huts or x-ray vision or whatever foolproof mechanics exists today <coughs> all right there's a dude over there but let's first check out the dude over here i don't see him yet but i sure as hell hear somebody We have to explore to find the collectibles. <laughs> Here we are. Now, by the way, I will equip my bow. Despite it being a bit bigger, it, it's much more fitting for this area and I'm sure in the next level we will not have the bow and probably only the guns. There's enough opportunity to use guns later on anyways. Alright, they are all pretty spread out, so that's a good thing I would say. Alright, there's a guy down below, there's a guy up on top. Actually, I first would like to check out this little camp. Where is the dude here? I don't see him and I also don't really see a way down, which is a bit annoying. This is too high to jump, I'm pretty sure. Archim really cannot take any full damage all right so the only thing i can do is just take down the guys over there where is the guy that was fixing a, a trap there used to be another guy working on something on the ground he disappeared all right we cannot have it all here we go Funny. So I made a mistake. Do I have to sit here for the rest of my life now? Was all the time getting those badges wasted? Wasted? Of course, no! You're doing an important job guarding the trail. He didn't come here alone, that guy. Why do you think I'm setting the traps? I figure as much. The council doesn't convene unless there's some serious matter. By the way, did you already set one at the camp entrance? Sure thing, the first thing I did. How about the cave? What cave? What do you mean, what cave? The one behind the pond up the stream. It goes straight to the camp. I know where it goes. I just didn't get to it yet. I'll finish here, then fix the old ones on the trail, and do the cave one last. Sure, it's your call. Though if the intruders get to the camp through that cave, it will be your ass dry on the porch of Teacher's house for a week at least. Look, you're really getting on my nerves now. I know. Shut up already. Suit yourself. Pretty funny dialogue. Alright, he's now walking. Oh, 
asshole sits there all day picking his nose and talking shit. Fucking smart ass. And <laughs> here we go. Right, so there is some kind of a conference going on in a camp. And the guy making traps down below was still there apparently. Although I didn't really see him in the binoculars. Ah, there he is. But there also is a guy on top over there, so I have to watch out for that. But let's first get down. Hopefully we won't be spotted. Probably should tackle this at night. I do like to see the forest by day as well. And we have some stuff over there. Man, they said it's much more linear and I agree it's it certainly to a certain extent is more linear but this area compared to Volga or Caspian but still there's quite some nice mini exploration to do I really find all right let's take out this bomb guy first and let's watch out for any traps that he may have set already? <coughs> Shit. Was he spotted? the rest just listening to the dialogue can contain gameplay tips Right, you probably cannot hear this on YouTube. I can barely hear it myself in game. I think now it finished. There was a dialogue going on. Pretty fun argument between two dudes. And if I would have gone away, I'm pretty sure it will not have played later on in the game. So that's why I had to stick around to be able to hear it. All right, but there is still a guy in there as well. It would be annoying if he will spot me. Because then we the auto safe is quite far back I think Let's 
check it out over here and again a nice little secret area I really like those mini explorations and probably again with a nice um, or maybe this is just nothing just water but probably with a nice jump scare in it let's check it out ah. at least we can get in or am i now getting to the camp yes i am i wonder whether i want to do this already Probably not. What the hell is my objective? Now I know for sure that... Oh, wrong button. Yeah, I actually... Will go here later after I explored the area. Because a cutscene might trigger. This is probably the cave that they were talking about. This is pretty beautiful, I must say. This world, this environment. Alright, let's try and get the guy over here. Again, I have no idea where he is or in what direction he's looking. Trying to see anything through the cracks. Not seeing a lot. Maybe peek over it. It could be, of course, quite dangerous if he would have looked in this direction, but he did not. He might be just in the house over there. But again, the house does have windows, I assume. So he can still see me approaching. And the thing is... Sound... Design... Uh, I cannot really go by sound design to gates where enemies are because that is totally the direction is really off in my headset by the way i think that i uh forgot to end the episode i'm probably almost way over the 40 minute marker unless i did restart it i don't remember actually anymore but just to be sure i am uh ending the episode here we'll continue in the next one guys hope you enjoyed i hope see you in the next one for the meantime do not forget to yourself also always do keep on gaming see you later